Petipa is the great classical choreographer of our history. He's, I will say, our Mozart. So that's obviously something that I, I wanted to base the piece on. There's also really important and iconic solos, pieces of choreography from Petipa, that again, unless you watch the whole Raimonda, you never see. It was special because of, of Petipa's choreography. I think it's rich of variations. Every variation is very, very special. Almost five years before I actually set foot into the studio, we started to think about Raimonda. I worked with Doug Fallington, we, we looked at the original choreography. Working with Tamara has been terrific. She was first in touch with me, I think at the end of 2018, and then in March of 2019, we met uh, with Gavin Sutherland at Harvard to look at the notations. Quite a few ballets and operas were notated, and they vary in the level of completeness that it has been written down. The Stepanov notation was developed in the early 1890s in St. Petersburg by Vladimir Stepanov. The system uses uh, Western musical notation to show how the body moves and the positions it takes, and those are strung together to create the steps. And then a ground plan shows where the dancer is on the stage and what direction they're facing. So if you put them together, you can revive the steps and set them to the music. Every dancer puts a little bit of its own in what they're doing, so the original one would be just the notations. All of the variations that were notated from when Petipa choreographed them. You're having the more original or more true choreography from Petipa. The original steps, they were made for a ballerina called uh, Pierina Legnani the Italian ballerina who danced in St. Petersburg in the 1890s, and he was able to create a ballet around her that showed off all of her uh, strengths and all of her abilities. We reconstructed most of the solos, so a lot of the solos, especially the women solos. The men at the time didn't dance like the men dance today. The original John de Bryan was a middle-aged man, he was uh, a big star of his time, but mainly because of his dramatic portraits uh, and his nobility on the stage. So he was chosen to be John, but he couldn't really dance that much anymore. Of course, when you compare that to the dancers of today, it's completely different. The power, the athleticism, the speed, it's just a completely different profession, almost. And particularly in English National Ballet, we have extraordinary male dancers in every rank. There's also things that need to change in order to tell a story that will be compelling to the audiences. And I believe that that is one of the ways in which ballet can continue to be relevant and popular. To transfer the plot from uh, the Crusade into the Crimean War and to actually intertwine it with Florence Nightingale's story, it's quite clever. Uh, this actually infuses the story with an incredible sense of duty and mission. This recontextualization frees up all of the characters and allows the focus of the narrative to be on their stories and on the romantic connection that they share. Now we go back to a big classic, but not classical ballet with age on it, but classical ballet in, in our days, you know, with the, all the possibilities that uh, technique can give to dancers. I have expanded at one mainly just to give that narrative space to develop and give other roles the importance that I feel they need. Also to give the core de ballet and the men the challenge and, and the exposure that I think they deserve. We had Vadim Sirotin come to do the character dances, which was amazing. And so that combination of understanding what the tradition is, but understanding what this Raimonda was. Quite a lot has been respected, especially in the third act which is the most famous one. A lot of her variations, some variations are completely new, but they have the hint of a step. That's the beauty that Tamara has kept as close as, or, as possible as to the original Petipa variations done for Raimonda, especially for Raimonda. I think that's where she has been more uh, faithful. 
to, to Petit Pass choreography. It's trying to strike a balance between preserving the original work but also telling the story that I feel we want to tell.